What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham news update. Now in this video I'm actually going to be doing a trailer analysis of the Brainiac trailer. Now I know a lot of you probably wanted this uh, quite a while ago but as I said I was on holiday so I couldn't really do that. Um, but yeah I'm going to be going through the trailer and showing you know all the new characters that were revealed because yesterday I did do a video um, showing screenshots and you're all like hey you missed this guy and this guy and this guy. Well don't worry that was for this video. That's why I wanted to separate it. So without further ado let's get to it. Alright, so right off the bat here we see Hawkman flying to the Hall of Justice. Now the Hall of Justice is actually going to be a location you're going to be able to explore in the game. Uh, you know, there's going to be several hub worlds. A lot of people are really worried that there is no open world. There is, it's just going to be different and I think uh, when we actually all play it for the very first time we'll understand that a lot more. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like hub world, open world. So in a way, if you want to make it sound... Um, a little better in your mind think of it as multiple open worlds rather than multiple hubs because a hub is probably what I would call the Lego movies worlds they were really small but the Lego Batman ones are said to be pretty large with lots of characters to unlock lots of quests vehicles to drive etc so yeah there's definitely no shortage here you know it's it's going to be a big game it, it's it's getting bigger and bigger by the day to be honest I mean the things they're announcing is crazy but yeah, Hawkman was announced already, but I just wanted to show um, a, a good look at the uh, Hall of Justice. Looks really nice. And Hawkman should be a really fun character to play as. He was in Lego Batman 2, but he didn't really... I don't know, he wasn't as fun to play as as I was hoping. But, you know, hopefully they'll fix that in this one. Here we see an awesome look at Blee's, one of the Red Lanterns in the game. And she's pretty cool. I mean, they did show her off uh, in the, one of the very first gameplay trailers, I believe. But I just wanted to show a good look here. And just look at the environments. They're all flaming everything. Traveller Tales always seem to get... Um, when it comes to characters, they always seem to get it right, you know? Oh, wow, this is Beast Boy and he can do this and this. Great. But then also on top of that, they put the worlds in and the worlds just blow your mind. Because it's like... It's like they've ripped them out of the comic pages and just, you know, stuck them on a TV screen. It's Sometimes it's amazing to see how detailed they'll go with the worlds you're playing in. Right, so this is Acrylo. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Acrylo or Acrylo. I'm pretty sure it's Acrylo. But anyway, yeah, so um, this is Acrylo and of course uh, the lanterns in the game big part of it. You know, the lanterns are going to have a huge part in this game. You actually see that from the trailers, like a part where uh, a Brainiac right at the end is like... I don't know he's like kidnapping Green Lantern or something and I think he's taking his energy so I'm really excited to see how this story is going to play out but anyway yeah so Acrylo is uh, a big figure now if you didn't know in Lego Marvel big figures were a, a big thing you know they were really cool you know you could smash up the city smash everything in sight some of them uh, could like uh, for example the Hulkbuster could hover but they never really flew you know you couldn't fly around everywhere well now with Lego Batman 3 you can so with the lanterns you can be you know a really big looking figure smash everything in sight and then fly away which is really cool and Acrylo isn't the only big figure lantern that can do that but more on that later all right so here is saint walker now the thing is uh, again this you know the the lanterns in the game big part of the story what i find interesting is the amount they're putting in because that to me was kind of what lego batman 2 was lacking it's like uh for example when i got lego batman 2 i was like oh cool you plays this and this guy and this guy it's like oh it's got green lantern is john stewart in it and he wasn't in it and that was a little disappointing and then uh, and then you know there was so many kind of we'll call them cosmic characters that you're kind of hoping like uh, lantern characters but they never made it in but then when lego batman 3 was announced and it was called beyond gotham i kind of knew that they were going to go beyond that and really um stretch out the dc universe and just show as much as possible you know basically the equivalent to what lego marvel did but with dc and i think that's a really interesting thing to do um, so yeah, this is Saint Walker, and of course he's another lantern. He has the abilities to obviously fly, and he can also do uh, what they call they're like there's certain bricks around the world, and only lanterns can rebuild them. So he, he can like rebuild certain we'll call them lantern bricks. <laughs> that's what we'll call them for now. So he can rebuild them, and then there's other characters that can do the same. So that's really cool. I'm still kind of hoping that the lanterns will have maybe a uh, a weapon wheel sort of thing where you could say right I want uh, Hal Jordan to have 
um, a hammer on his hand or something, you know, to use the Green Lantern ring as an actual weapon. Maybe they'll just use that in the melee combat, if so, that's fine, but there's a lot of possibilities they could do there. Alright, so I actually did a bit of reading on this one because I kind of, I don't like it when I'll say, oh, this is this character and I have no idea who they are. I really don't like it when I do that because I feel like I'm just being lazy. I'm trying not to be, I don't want to be lazy, you know, I want to supply as, most inf as much information, as much screenshots, etc. But sometimes I just don't know who they are. But this I've actually done some research on and this is Carol Ferris. Now, she used to be a pilot. And basically, uh, when Hal Jordan became the Green Lantern, she uh, found herself possessed by what's called a Star Sa Sapphire gem. And then, of course, she she became Star Sapphire. Now, I don't really know her abilities. She's holding a ring in this screenshot, so I imagine she's, I guess, similar to a Green Lantern. Maybe, uh, not just a Green Lantern, sorry, similar to Lanterns. She could be a little different. I'm excited to see, you know, what she'll be able to do in the game. She does sound like a pretty interesting character from what I've read. Alright, so next up here we have another big figure lantern and this one especially was one of the most requested characters I've seen on, on the, the comment section of my videos. You know, you had Beast Boy, he's announced, he can transform in all these crazy things, really cool, but also Killer Wog uh, was heavily requested and they've announced him as well in the trailer. And let me just say, he looks awesome. I mean, Traveller Tales always do a brilliant job on designing these characters. From taking a character from a movie, or a, a, you know, a show, or a comic book, they just do it. You know, it's, it's incredible how they do that. I just, it's mind-blowing. But yeah, so Killawog is in the game, and if you don't know who he is, he's uh, one of the high-ranking high officers in the Green Lantern Corps. And he's really cool. I mean, like I was saying about Krillo, uh, you know, now they have actual big figures that can fly. So Kilowog is of course one of them. He can fly, he can smash everything in sight. I believe he can probably do the Green Lantern builds as well since, you know, he's got the ring. I really like that as well. Um, they actually put the ring on his finger. If you look carefully, you can see that and that is really nice attention to detail. To think that they did that is just really cool. I know it's a small thing, but to me, Sometimes the small things make a big difference, and it just makes the character feel that much more believable. Alright, so this one's a little tricky. Now, I don't. I tried looking for some information on this character, but it was quite hard. Apparently, she's uh, kind of like a henchman, or hench girl in her case. And uh, basically, I've been told that she's called Indigo One. Um, she'll be, you know, she'll be armed with her Indigo Tribe staff and she can fly, which you can see from the screenshot. She looks really cool. I do like this design on this character. I mean, I don't really know much about them. But like I said yesterday, I think that's the great thing about these games. It's one of the great things. There's tons of great things about these games. But one of them is that you learn so much about characters you never even knew of. And by the end of, you know, the day, by the end of the day, you will just be like, that character's really cool. I want to find more about them. And then you would buy the comic books and things, you would read about them on the internet, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then, you know, you just uh, come to love these characters just because of one little Lego game. I always think that's amazing how Traveller Tales do things like that. It's, it's mind-blowing sometimes. And last but not least, here we have Laughleys and one of the characters I was really hoping to see in the game, Atrocitus, which is amazing because... I was just hoping for him to be playable, but he's actually in the story as well, which is just super cool. And these two look awesome. Laughlees looks really cool. We'll start off with him. Really like the design on him. And of course, he'll be able to fly, uh, do orange lantern builds apparently, and uh, you know have all the cool lantern abilities. And Atrocitus is again another uh, lantern big figure that can actually fly in the game. So you know you can smash everything and fly, which is super cool. And these two just look amazing i mean like i just can't stress enough how much detail traveler tales put into their games i mean it's really amazing when you've got such a small thing like a lego figure and you can only do so much on these uh on a on a lego figure in terms of design they they do it you know they nail it every time and it's it's shocking how they do it but yeah trust it is oh man i'm really happy he's in the game so now now we have pretty much now I pretty much have every character I was hoping to be in the game. There's only a few left that I would hope to see, and I think that would be Red Hood, aka Jason Todd, um, Green Arrow, 
uh, Red Arrow probably. I think that would be pretty cool to have him in as well. So then you could be Green Arrow and your friend could be Red Arrow. That would be pretty cool. And of course, Deathstroke and Batman Beyond. They are the final ones I would love to see. If they add them in and maybe throw in a few transformations as well, then perfect. But really, right now, this game is perfect. And I just can't wait for it to finally release. Alright guys, I want to say thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for lots more news on LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham and Disney Infinity 2.0 Marvel Super Heroes Edition. And as always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe.